First, let me say sorry about the explosions in the background. That's just fireworks. It's 4th of July weekend, and yes, I will be filming a video on the actual 4th of July. But for now, let's talk about Power Rangers Operation Overdrive. Considered by many to be the worst season in the whole of Power Rangers until Megaforce and Super, Me Super Megaforce kicked Overdrive out of the throne. But for all its faults, there was one thing that was good about it. The Zords. They were simple mining slash racing slash surveillance vehicles. Actually, they were kind of a mishmash. But they worked, and the Zord action was always enjoyable, for me at least. Unfortunately, Bandai America kind of screwed up when they tried to make their own version of the Overdrive Megazord and a few others. <clears throat> Luckily, uh, we don't have that here today. We have the Japanese import. I'm not going to bother uh, naming it directly. You can look it up yourself. Trust me, that'll be easier. For now, let's just call these the Operation Overdrive Zords and their ultimate formation, the Drive Max Megazord. Let's start with the Red Zord. It is a, a oversized dump truck that could be used for strip mining. They have dump trucks that are Zord size, believe it or not. And this is one of them, basically. The things on the side I'll get to later, but for now, look at that chrome. I mean, wow. This is what Power Rangers used to have quality-wise. Sadly, that's gone downhill, but now we're looking at the good old days. Not to mention, it has a special feature. Its dump section can actually extend out and extend grabby claws. <coughs> Excuse me. This was actually used on the show, so kudos. <clears throat> so, uh, besides that, we have a race car for the Black Ranger, which opens up to reveal uh, basically a missile launcher, although that didn't translate very well. Just trust me, that's a missile launcher. I don't know what you would use this for as a, as the theme of uh, Operation Overdrive, but it worked. It's very detailed and very polished. Next, we have the Blue Rangers gyrocopter, much like the uh, Green Rangers gyrocopter in... Uh, Lightspeed Rescue. It is... Well, it doesn't do much. The... The, uh... Outer gyros move for transformation, but that's about it. It can roll. But it's essential for the Megazord formation, so... Don't knock it till you tried it. Then we have the fully articulated... Uh, Yellow Rangers, uh, the Yellow Rangers fully articulated uh, shovel driver, complete with a swiveling turret, because Power Rangers. And it looks great. The treads don't work, but it does roll. And next we come to the Pink Rangers glow in the dark sheesh talk about glowing <laughs> glow in the dark sub which has extendable claws for manipulation 
because why wouldn't it have extendable claws for manipulation? And before they become a Megazord, they can combine into a trailer. Basically, you take the red Zord, you fold out the trailer hitch, like so. You uh, fold up the shovel on the shovel driver, like so. Swivel the turret around. Fold the uh, sub in half. Fold up the uh, fold up the uh, black zord into missile launcher mode, and connect the black and blue zords together like so. So, you then connect the yellow and pink ranger zords into the red ranger's zord. And yeah, this can be a little finicky sometimes. But don't force it, you could break it. You gotta sort of negotiate it in. And finally, you connect the trailer hitch of the Red Ranger Zord to the back part of the Black Ranger Zord, which can be a little finicky sometimes, which is why I'm doing it off camera. And so you get the overdrive Zords in trailer mode, like so. And yeah, it's silly, but at the same time, it it works. It's a cohesive look. Now, without further ado, and hopefully before something screws up, <clears throat> let's go to Megazord mode. First, you pretty much take everything apart fold up the trailer hitch, take the blue zord, fold its wings up rather than down, pull out the Megazord's helmet, fold up its little horns, set that aside. Uh, the Black Ranger zord is pretty much done except for these little, unfortunately, kind of fragile feeling clips on the bottom here. Set that aside. You take the uh, halfway transformed shovel driver and tuck the shovel into the uh, turret. Then, this one's always a bit finicky. You unfold the Megzord's arm like so. You transform the sub back and telescope it inward to reveal whoop, telescope it inward to reveal the Megazord's fist. See? Like so. Then, and here's the largest amount of uh, what'd you call? Transformation. You take this big kahuna, <clears throat> fold back the parts that fit over the cabin, fold down the dump truck section, split the legs, fold some stabilizers out from the grabby claw bits. Found out the hard way that these are essential. You open up the grill, Flip the whole cabin and grill back, press it down, and you have the and you have the frame for the Megazord. Then it's all just a matter of 
connecting him up without messing up the various features. First you connect this part here, like so. And I'll do that off camera because it's rather difficult. So it's like so. Then you connect the blue sword to the back, like so. Yeah. Next, you connect uh, this arm on the Megazord's right side, your left, and after unfolding the Pink Ranger Zord's uh, sub claws out halfway, you connect that Zord on the other side. Like so. And here we have the... Oop, almost forgot. Can't go anywhere without his helmet. And here we have the Drive Max Megazord. And yes, this beast is fully articulated. The arms go 360. The elbows actually turn. The fist of this side, or this arm, uh, due to transformation, actually uh, rotates inward like that. Not sure how useful that is, but it works. Uh, the legs have hip articulation, knee articulation, although that does uh, dislocate this part. So it might not be totally stable. And the head, technically, can spin all the way around. Well, not, maybe not with the helmet. Let's check. Oh, okay, so it can pull a Linda Blair. <sighs> okay, so this is a very articulate Megazord. And as for the doohickeys that were on its sides, this is a shovel. Yeah, it looks different on the show, um, but it sort of works. It's got to work in real life as the toy, so there have to be some concessions. And if you fold down this fork-looking thing, I said fork, F-O-R-K, you get, once again, a pickaxe. I was going to say pitchfork, but no. It's a pickaxe. And yeah, the handle's supposed to be longer, but you go with what you got. And you can put them together like so. And that's the Megazord's sword. And it's a pretty beefy, good-looking sword if I ever seen one. And with that, we come to the end of the first Operation Overdrive Zord review. When next we meet, we see the Auxiliary Zords and what they can do. Until then, this is Mr. J signing out and reminding you, while there are good and bad Power Ranger seasons, they all have their fans. Please respect one another and basically don't be jerks to one another. That's all I have to say about that.